So the book I chose to read for my addiction project was the book Tweak by Nick Sheff. Um, this is a nonfiction book written by the addict himself, and it shows his life and what he went through due to his addiction. Uh, the man in the book was addicted to a series of drugs, and it started when he was in high school with pot, and then eventually he started wanting a stronger high, and that led to him going towards harder drugs and become addicted becoming addicted to crystal meth and heroin. Uh, the book really shows how much drugs affected this man specifically, his life, and the relationships he had with other people, as well as the effects that it had on his family. And I don't want to give anything away, but I will say that the effects, especially on his parents and siblings, were really heartbreaking. Um, it showed how much his family wanted to help him even after he turned his back on them and broke their trust so many times. The book relates to the book we had to read in class, which is called Drinking a Love Story, because both show the process the person went through towards treatment because of an addiction, and they both show how badly the authors want to stop hurting the people around them and stop taking the drugs or alcohol because mentally they do know that it's wrong for them, but also how badly they want, they don't want to stop because of how much they want the high or the feeling of relaxation from drinking a glass of wine, for example. Um, both of the authors try to blame the things around them at first and not themselves. And my book relates to my APA paper because I chose to write about crystal meth, which is what Nick was addicted to. The dangerous effects of crystal meth on the body are described in my APA paper. And I believe that my classmates need to read this book because of how much of an eye-opener it is. It shows both the mental effects and addiction to drugs can have on someone personally as well as the effects on their families. Um, some parts are a little graphic, but that just makes the story so much more sad and so much more of a lesson through the eyes of the addict himself. The book may seem long, but it's really a quick read because of how wrapped up you get in the life of Nick Chef and how badly you start to root for his recovery towards the end.